Hello, and welcome to Making the Photo. Today I'm going to introduce you to Pika, an insanely cool tool that'll help you go from static images to mesmerizing videos in just a few clicks. I've been playing around with Pika and I'm hooked. It's remarkably easy to use. Just type in a text prompt, hit enter, and Pika adds cha-cha-cha. In this video, I'll show you how to get started and share some pro tips for generating amazing AI videos with text. It's time to bring your images to life. Pika is a new text to video platform that gives anyone the power to turn their ideas into motion. Instead of static images, you'll get videos tailored to your unique vision. Pika is a Discord based AI text to video platform. If you've dabbled in Discord before, you're already halfway to becoming a Pika wizard. You type in a text prompt and Pika creates the video. To get started, go to this website and join the beta. Accept the invite. You'll be directed to Pika's Discord server. In the Pika Discord server, hop onto one of the generation rooms. In the message bar, click slash create. Type what you want to see. With video, it's important to be clear about your verbs. What do you want your subject to do? Don't get too complicated at first. Now click enter or return. Pika makes a three second video clip. It takes a few seconds for your video to appear. If the Discord server is busy, your video might get lost in the shuffle. But don't worry, it's highlighted with a yellow line, like it's wearing a neon look at me sign. Or go to your inbox and find your images. Click the center of the video to play. You've got two rating buttons under your video. You also have a reroll button. Click this a couple of times to see the different video options. Click the variation button and you can change your prompt. This is helpful if you're not getting the effect that you want. Click download in the upper right hand corner to save your video. The videos are a bit rough right now, but as with all AI, quality improves with time. You can also animate images in Pika. Instead of typing create, type slash animate in the message bar. Drag in the image you want to animate and click return. If you don't like the animation, click the reroll button or click variation and now you can add a text prompt to guide the AI. Or use slash create and type in a text prompt first. Then click the tab button three times and add an image to your prompt. But don't just make a basic video. Pike has got more controls than a spaceship. You can change aspect ratios, control camera movement, and even tell the AI how much creative license it gets. It's like being a movie director, but without all the stress. By default, Pika makes videos in a quirky video aspect ratio, but you can change the aspect ratio. After your text, add dash AR and enter a different aspect ratio. The spaces are important. And note, if you're a mid-journey user, Pika uses only one hyphen, not two. You can control camera movement with the camera parameter. This tells the camera how to move through your video. You can zoom in, zoom out, pan right, pan left, pan up, pan down, rotate clockwise, rotate anti-clockwise. And you can add more motion by typing dash motion and a number from one to four. The default is one, so add more motion by typing two, three, or four. You can make your video smoother or more hitchy with dash FPS. The range is eight to 24 frames per second. The default is the smoothest, 24 frames per second, but you can adjust this for a different look. There is also a guidance scale to tell the AI how faithful it should be to your text and a negative prompt to note things you don't want to see in your video. And finally, you can fix the seed by typing dash seed after your prompt. 
The seed is in your video's title. Pika creates a three second clip, but who says you can't turn that into a feature film? Okay, maybe not a feature film, but you get the idea. To make a longer video, first download your three second video. Now go to this website. We're going to extract the final frame from the video and use it to start the next one. Add video and download the final frame. We need to remove the watermark. We don't want Pika to animate the existing watermark. There is a way to remove watermarks in Pika, but you'll need to make and post a lot of videos first. Luckily, removing the watermark is easy. Take this JPEG file into a photo editing program. I'm using Photoshop here, but there are free alternatives like Photopea that will get the job done. Back in Pika, copy the prompt you used before. You can change it, but you probably don't want to change it too much. Click Tab three times, and now you can drag your JPEG file into the prompt. Once you do this dance a couple of times, you'll build up your video. Join the files together in a video editor. You don't have to get fancy. I'm just using Canva to add the videos. And add a small transition between each clip. When you're in the video editor, get creative and add some music, or maybe some sound effects. With a little patience, you can generate a much longer video using Pika. Pika is a social place to play in the creative sandbox, but you can take Pika aside for a private chat. Unlike Midjourney, you can't invite Pika to your own personal server to create in your own space, but you can interact with Pika one on one. In one of the generation rooms, open the member list and click on the Pika bot. In the message bar, say hi to Pika. In your Discord messages, you now have started a conversation with Pika. You can continue this conversation by asking for video generations. Type slash create or slash animate and Pika will respond with a video. And there you have it. You're now a Pika Pro, or at least well on your way. Pika is super easy to use. Just type what you want to see and Pika makes it move. This tool is a game changer for anyone who loves playing with videos and animations. And the best part, it's only gonna get better with time. So dive in, get creative, and let's see what you can make. I can't wait to see how this tool evolves. If you like this guide, smash the like button and subscribe for more tips. Got a Pika masterpiece to share? Drop it in the comments. We wanna see your inner Spielberg. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together. <music>